Special thanks to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft World War II aircraft tutorial. In this tutorial, we go ahead and do a pretty simple build, the Messerschmitt P1101. The Messerschmitt P1101 was a single engine, single seat jet fighter project of World War II, developed as part of the 15th of July 1944 emergency fighter program, which sought a second generation of jet fighters for the Third Reich. A prominent feature of the P-1101 prototype was that the swept wing angle of the wings could be changed before flight, a feature further developed in the later variable swept wing aircraft such as the Bell X-5 and the Grumman XF-10F Jaguar. The uh, aircraft itself never flew, it was kind of just mainly a um, idea, basically. Um, I do believe a mock-up was made, but uh, it was never really... Um, brought into full fruition and never actually flown. Um, overall, pretty interesting aircraft, a very small one, kind of keeping with that um, World War II design of very small jet fighters for the time, and uh, kind of a big inspiration, I would say, for a lot of the early Cold War aircraft in the terms of its design, very similar to that of the uh, Sabre and also the MiG, uh, or the initial MiGs and stuff. So you can definitely see a lot of inspiration behind um, it's just kind of overall design and the fact that it did have swept wings which was something that was very unheard of for the time and we later saw adapted into other aircraft and even used in fully uh combat aircraft such as the f-14 and um su-22 and all that fun stuff so overall really cool uh, kind of uh, i guess technologically advanced design for its time and really just kind of set the way for uh later jet fighters that were produced in the early cold war before we go and jump in and take a look at this build, I do want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go and place a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link is down in the video description. With that though, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at the um, P1101. So starting off with, we have the front intake here, which is basically in the nose of the aircraft. So basically, in in the nose goes back, and you have your jet engine um, exhaust here under, on the underneath section here of the aircraft. So kind of a cool design for it. Um, again, looks very similar to that of like the MiG-15 and all that stuff. Uh, we then have the front uh, cockpit here. Uh, pretty straightforward and standard. The wings, we only have the wings in one fixed position because there wasn't really many that many pictures really if anything for this aircraft so I wasn't sure how exactly to do the swept back portion or how to you know have them fold back even more from what they were and I don't want to have it too drastic and it be completely inaccurate so I decided to leave it just as um kind of it's what the standard version or what it kind of normally would look like and then we have the um, back tail here and all that stuff. Again, most of the coloring here on this aircraft is not really based off anything in particular. It's just kind of what it might have looked like. Um, kind of just based it off of some of my other jet fighters having this kind of white underbelly and the green kind of uh, top of the aircraft. So I just felt it would probably fall along the same kind of design um, aspects of having that color. Um, and all that stuff. So overall pretty cool design. Uh, again, we do have a landed and in-flight version here available in this tutorial So you will be able to build both by the end of this tutorial um, In addition, I do want to mention that um, The landing or the landed version here would sit at a slight angle now Unfortunately, uh, just due to Minecraft and its limitations the angle is very slight and not enough to really or Weren't doing a whole different design for it. So uh, we do have it sitting flat But I just wanted to throw that out there that is one thing that is kind of changed in the sake of uh, just making the build a little bit easier to do. But it really doesn't take too much away from it. And the landed version here looks pretty decent. So anyways, though, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the build. But beginning with our first layer, which will be layer number one. All right, guys, so moving into our first layers here, we're actually going to be going ahead and starting off with layers one and two. Now, we're starting with these layers because layer one is really just putting some iron trap doors on the bottom of the fuselage. So I'm not going to really count that as a whole a whole layer on its own so it's that pretty straightforward it's easier just to build layer two and kind of build that onto it um and all that fun stuff um in addition if you do want to build the aircraft landed you will need to make sure that you position this basically one block up from the ground level so you can see here layer two which is this kind of the main portion you're seeing right here that is one block of space between the ground level and uh basically it so we have 
Again, one full block of space. Very important to make sure that's correct because when you, if you go back to add the landing gear, because we will be doing the landing gear at the end of the video after we build the whole aircraft, um, you will want to make sure that that's correct because if not, your aircraft's going to look weird. It's not going to sit properly. So again, just make sure that this is correct and good to go. Now, also, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means, I'm going to be building the entire center line of the aircraft craft on video and also the right side it'll be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side this aircraft is completely symmetrical so whatever we do on one side will be done to the other let's go ahead and get started though first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a row of five of polished diorite so like this going across you can also use quartz if you want to but the polished diorite has kind of more of an off-white color which is a little bit closer to what the germans actually used we're going to go and then place down a um, piston upside down here in the front. Now this is going to be for Java. If you're on Java, we have a special tool we can use that can actually change the properties of the piston and really help with the shaping here in the front. If you're not on Java, instead of this um, piston, I would place down a upside down um, polished diorite stair, kind of like that in that direction. So that's again, a alternative there for the front there if you are not on Java. Go ahead and move into the back of this row of five. We're going to place down our two pistons like so. And we want to go ahead and again, basically we're going to be doing the same thing here. Um, so you can, we'll be using that tool for us Java players. If you're not on Java, then, um, you can go ahead and place down a polished diary up down stair here and a top slab coming off like that going back. Anyways though, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished diary top slab, a iron trap door, and then go into the sides up here in the front. We're going to place down two skeleton skulls on the side of the piston and this polished and or sorry, polished diary full block. And then on the sides going back, we're going to place down one, two, three polished diorite upside down stairs, a polished diorite top slab, and then one and two polished diorite skeleton schools back after that. And that right there is going to complete what you have there for layer two. And layer one on the bottom here is pretty simple. We're just going to go and go to obviously the front of our aircraft this way. We're going to go and go to the second polished diorite full block. So under kind of the one that's sandwiched between the two stairs there. We're going to place down an iron trap door on the bottom of it, followed by a second iron trap door back from it. Like so. And that right there will complete everything we have there for layers one and two. At this point in the build, we'll be going ahead and now moving up to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a black of, block of concrete on top of this piston, like so in the front, or the upside down stair, whichever you have. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six green terracotta blocks back, followed by a shroom light block and an orange stained glass block. Now, this right here is going to be perfect if you want the engine on, you want this aircraft flying. This is the perfect blocks to use. If you want the engine turned off, you can also do that. Instead of placing the stream light block, we'll place that a block of, of um, coal or concrete, whatever you want, just a dark block. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door instead of the orange stained glass. So you can make the engine turned off if you have this aircraft landed and parked on a runway um, or the tarmac. You're not going to want the engines on for all of them, so you can have them turned off. Um, so that's an alternative to do, but for this aircraft, we'll just keep the engine um, glowing and looking like it's on. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door back from this glass block or this iron trap door, whichever you route you chose to do. And then we're gonna place down a second iron trap door after that. So it should stick out by one past this iron trap door from the previous layer. After that's done, going to the sides here, we're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this uh, black concrete block, one glass pane forward, and then one and two green terracotta blocks back. We also wanna place down one, two, three, four polished diorite blocks, two mossy cobblestone walls, and a white stained glass pane after that. We're going to go then take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three, four across those polished diorite blocks. We're going to go and then go off the second iron trap door. One, two, three, and four iron trap doors back. We're going to go and then go off the second iron trap door again. And we're going to do another row of four back like so. After that, we want to go and then do a row of three. So coming off this one, second one, one, two, three. We're going to go and then do another row of three, which is going to be coming off this iron trap door, the middle one. One, two, three three back then coming off of this we're gonna go ahead and then do one coming off the middle one and then we're gonna place down two more back so another row of three and then we just want to place down two iron trap doors like so and again take a look at it from above here this we should have from the top down view with this layer complete again you'll take what we do on the right side copy it over to the left side and you'll be pretty much good to go well, yeah, that right there is going to conclude layer number three for the build. And with that, we'll move on up to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to get started with here, we're going to place down a dark liquid slab here, kind of above this space here, above this polished um, diorite slab, like so. We'll then place a piston if we're on Java. If we're not on Java, we'll place a dark liquid stair in its place, which will be positioned like so. Um, but again, for us Java players, we'll go ahead and use our piston up on top here. 
Behind that block there, we're going to place down a um, green terracotta block, and then we're going to place down a row for black concrete. Now, you can choose to leave the space open if you do want to do an interior for the build. You're more than welcome to try to build an interior. Um, for me, I don't do interiors on my jets just because they're so small and simplistic. There's not really much point, I think. Uh, but again, you can leave the space open and do an interior if you really want to. But again, I'll leave it up to you guys. For the sake of the tutorial, though, we're just going to fill this up with black concrete to close this space off through our glass canopy. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Green terracotta blocks back from that. Followed by a row of 2 of polished diorite full blocks. Then we're going to place down 2 pistons upside down. If you are um, on Java, instead of the 2 pistons, we'll place down a polished diorite full block. And then a polished diorite top slab. After that, though, we're going to go ahead and place down 2 more polished diorite top slabs that go back like so. Then, uh, going off the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go off this first piston, or this, fir or this first top side, whichever one you have here. We're going to place down an iron trap door and the second one back. We're going to go off the second iron trap door, another iron trap door, one back, and then one out to the side from that iron trap door like that. We then also want to place down a zombie head, come off the side of the piston, and then we're going to place down two green stained glass panes going forward, two mossy cobblestone walls going forward, and then one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks, one and two dark oak with slat, or sorry, stairs, and then a dark oak with slab here, followed by a zombie head at a slight angle on top of this mossy cobblestone wall, like that up here in the front. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention here to the wings. For the wings of the aircraft, we're going to place down a daylight detector like so, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak with slabs back. Um, actually, sorry, we're going to go and do two dark oak with slabs and then our daylight detector. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector up here in the front, then two dark oak with slabs back, another daylight detector. And then we'll place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4 daylight detectors. Then 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to place down 1. Like that out to the side there. We'll then switch to dark oak with trap doors. And we're just going to place down dark oak with trap doors on the remaining iron trap doors. Now at this point in time we do run into a bit of an issue. We have the daylight detectors here which actually caused the iron trap doors to open. Now, there's a couple ways you can get around this. You can either replace the iron trap doors with birchwood trap doors. Obviously not perfect, but something that you can do if you really need uh, to, if you really need something to, or basically you really, um, you know, need to modify it. Uh, so birchwood trap doors will work. They're not perfect, but they are a good choice. Um, however, for us on Java, we'll go ahead and grab our special tool I was talking about earlier. We'll get this tool by doing the command slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick by pressing enter we'll get this debug stick and we can then left click the iron trap doors until we get selected open and should say true by right clicking it will set to false it should close these all along the bottom here like so so just like this and it'll basically make it lay flat on there and all that stuff just be mindful don't change the time of day because if you do these iron trap doors will all uh, revert back so just or they will all open so just make sure that you keep that in mind and also, we can go and now take this time to go to our pistons. We'll left click our pistons now until we get selected extended false prompt pop up. We'll right click the pistons now and it'll get rid of that wood portion, which basically helps us with the sloping there of the aircraft. So as you can see, it kind of helps give us more gradual sloping um, all around the sections of the aircraft. And we will not do these ones right here because basically what happens if you place a block or you update a block around these pistons they will revert back to normal so just keep that in mind um, and we'll edit those a little bit later once we get the blocks on top of those pistons complete anyways though uh, that right there is going to conclude everything we have there for layer four and with that let's move on to layer number five moving into our next layer we have layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down another brick slab on top of this first black concrete block or the second block behind the green terracotta we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four, or sorry, row of three of black stained glass full blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood slabs, place down a row going all the way back, total of seven. Then a dark oak wood stair, green terracotta block, and another dark oak wood stair like so. We'll also take dark oak wood trap doors, and we're going to place them on top of the iron trap doors like that out to the sides for the horizontal stabilizers. With that done, going back up to the front, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle like this on both sides in the air brick slab and then we're going to go back one two and three black stained glass panes to go ahead and make your cockpit and with that all done that is going to basically complete what we have for layer five and with that we'll probably just move into our final layers from here on out so uh with that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers all right guys so moving into our last final layers before we go ahead and jump right into those i do want to go ahead and mention also for us shallow players again this time now we can go ahead and edit those pistons by going ahead and getting rid of that wood portion the same we did before 
Um, anyways, though, let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a dark oak trap door on the second or, or on the center black stained glass block. So just like that for the front cockpit. After that is all done, we want to go ahead and then place down an iron bar that's going to be on this dark oak wood slab. So directly behind it for basically the radio antenna. And then after that, uh, continuing on back, we're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block here, a mossy cobblestone wall on the back, a green stained glass paint on top of this green terracotta block, and then a green terracotta block on top of the wall. And then lastly, a dark oak wood slab on top. And that right there will basically complete layers 6, 7, and 8, and you'll pretty much be good to go for the aircraft. Now there are a few things uh, we can go ahead and add, real, or one thing that we can go ahead and add, and that's going to be a banner on the side here, which is going to display the German um, kind of iron cross. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to make that real quick. Let me just grab the necessary banner materials, and I'll see you guys here shortly. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and make the German Iron Cross banner. Now to make this, it's really simple. We're going to need a loom, a green banner, one black die, two white die, and three green die. We're going to go into our loom, we're going to place down our green banner, and we're going to place our white die in with the banner. We're going to do the vertical line that goes directly through the center of the banner, like so. And then we're going to go and then do the line that goes horizontally through the center as well. We'll place that uh, banner back into our loom, and we'll place our black die in this time. We're going to go and then do the pre-made cross design. So, just like this, so you have that white outline all the way around this black cross, and we'll go ahead and grab that banner. We'll then place our green die in. We're going to go ahead and first do the horizontal line across the top with our green die, then the horizontal line across the bottom, and then we want to go and then do the green border that goes all the way around to create a design that looks like that. Grabbing this banner, we'll go ahead and take it, and we'll place it on the side of our vertical stabilizer on these green terracotta blocks right there. And we can also place it down on the side of these mossy cobblestone walls here, on the side of the few slots as well for that cross. Um, anyways, though, that right there is kind of it for the in-flight version there for the aircraft and what you guys can do. Uh, one quick thing also I want to add on is going to be a polished blackstone button on the side of this green terracotta block, which I did forget to add. So just make sure that gets transferred over to both sides. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that right there is pretty much it for what we have there for the in-flight version of the aircraft and at this point in time we're going to go ahead and now move into the landed version and i'll show you guys how to put landing gear on it for those of you that are interested anyways though with that let's go ahead and move into our landing gear all right guys so going ahead and moving into putting our landing gear onto the aircraft what we're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and going down to this section here we're going to break this block that's in between our skeleton skulls here so we're going to break that block completely in its place we're going to place down a birchwood fence post and right below the fence post we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the floor on the ground like so. We'll then go ahead and place down a block forward of it and this is going to be really for Java players. At this point in time you're pretty much good to go. Um, I don't really have any good ways to kind of make this look a little bit better on different versions but we'll go ahead and use our debug stick here again for us Java players to kind of go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer. And this is going to be a trip bar hook here on the side of the block and we're going to then use our debug stick here. We're going to left click it until we get selected facing and then we can go and then right click it to rotate around so it comes off the wither skeleton skull like so and just kind of adds a little bit more detail to the landing gear. It's not perfect, but uh, it does kind of work. And then lastly, we're going to delete the skeleton skull on the left side there and place down a polished diorite upside down stair in place. And that right there will complete the landing gear um, for the front. And with that, we'll be going ahead and now moving on to the rear landing gear. Alright guys, so when it comes to the rear landing gear, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going into this section here. Now we're going to go ahead and delete these skeleton skulls here on both sides. And if you have the pistons, they will cause the pistons to uh, turn back to their normal state. But we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence post to both sides there. We're going to go and go down from the fence post and out at an angle to both sides. We're going to place down our blocks of coal. And then our skeleton skulls here on the insides there of those blocks of coal. We then want to go ahead and replace these two mossy cobblestone walls here with polished data side upside down stairs. So we're going to go and do this on both sides here. After we have that done, um, again, for us Java players, we can use our glass pane here, or use our debug stick here to actually change the properties of the glass pane so that it actually will connect up to our stair. And this is just going to be by changing the direction the glass pane faces. So by left clicking, you can see it says selected west falls, and by clicking it, it will, or right clicking it, it will then extend it to the west. So it may take some playing around with. Um, sometimes you can see the directions by pressing F3 for Java. I'm not sure if um, Bedrock versions you're able to see it, but you can go ahead and see uh, facing south. Um, so you can use that to kind of help guide you and put your blocks in the right direction. But yeah, that's kind of a cool little trick you can use there. And then uh, lastly, we're going to go ahead and just take our polished diorite stairs and we want to place down two upside down stairs. One that's going to come off the polished andesite uh, stair and one that's going to come off that glass pane like so. 
and your banner here does kind of get covered up um you could delete this banner um it's probably best to do it just so it does not interfering with the uh design here for the landing gear but again it's not a super big issue and then lastly just a polished direct top slab there and that'll be done the same thing over here on this side as well so again you'll just do the same thing with your stairs and that's pretty much about it again if you're a java player make sure that you go back to these pistons and uh reset them with your debug stick and the last thing here is this banner design uh which is something that's kind of optional but i think it looks pretty good on these blocks of coal it kind of helps give the wheels a little more of a actual nice look but basically all we're doing here is we're taking a green banner we're doing a black horizontal line for the center and then a black border around it that's basically it pretty simple and this will just go on the sides of the blocks of coal facing toward the outsides there to go ahead and kind of give those wheels a little bit more of a um wheelish look anyways though that is going to pretty much complete the landed version for the p1101 and with that that's going to wrap up my tutorial here for the messerschmitt p1101 hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do want to use this build i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this being anything from a sound of the build link to my channel or this video if this does pretty social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it your free user for projects you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun with all that fun stuff um in addition again big special thanks to patreon supporter um Yank Tiger for me this is all possible, and as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.